gentleman who was very much responsible for this evening, for this special event, for putting all of this together, for making this happening, for being a part of this community, I want to bring to the stage Mr. Franz Richardson. Put your hands together! Yes! Good afternoon! Good afternoon and welcome! Welcome one and all. It looks great for what I'm seeing out here this afternoon. I want to welcome each and every one of you who have shown their support for over the many years for my person. I want to also, before we start, that I would like to thank Mr. Vincent Duncher for allowing us to use their property to launch our campaign as we start here this evening. But before I start, I would like to bring all the members of the board of this new, young, but dynamic political party. I will ask that all of you to give them a round of applause when I introduce the board of this party. The president of the party, Mr. Cecil Rudolfo Nichols. Nicholas, please come on stage. A young, dynamic, young St. Martin. A young businessman. Another young, dynamic woman. Young lady. Miss Rochelle Darlene Hodge. Please come on stage. Rochelle. Another dynamic young businesswoman, Miss Melissa Duncher, please come on stage. Another down street, one of my right hand, who are next to me in my cabinet, none other than Altair Richardson from down street, please come on board. One of St. Martin's greatest, greatest philosopher who has decided to be part of this great team. He made a decision to be part of us. None other than Fernando Clark. Another young, brilliant young businessman we have on this island. He's a true friend. None other than Mr. Lloyd Paul. Please come on board. Sorry. Sorry. We also want to welcome another young individual to come on board. This is a young, but not that young, but businessman who have <laughs> wanted to be so part of the change that we are about to embark on. This man met me and he said, Franz, I want to be part with whatever you intend to do politically for the future of this country. Not other than Patrick Delaslis Matthewell. Please come on board. <laughs> and last but not least, another female, strong woman, a mother, a wife. Someone I know for a long time, the family of sisters, but now I'm getting to know one of them. None other than Agnes Brooks. Please come on stage, Agnes. Yeah. 
as you can see, we have young, dynamic team that has a huge interest for you, the people of St. Martin. One way or the other to development issues, concerns, and questions which keep you, the mind busy, and the souls restless. This especially the case when one has chosen to serve a people by means of public office. As an active member of the political arena for some time now, this is such a time. This is a time when I, along with others, are forced to take the people and where we want to go from here. It is a time when we have to look into the mirror and decide to correct mistakes of the past by pulling all our resources together and committing to new way of doing things. Arturo. Ladies and gentlemen, if on this today party, I dead. formally announce the establishment if party, of a new dead. political organization to serve the interests of the people of St. Martin. The founders of this party believe that the time is right, that the time is now for such an initiative considering how much more needs to be achieved as a young country. With that in mind, we have chosen the name United St. Martin Party, USP. As the name for our party, the name is keeping with our core beliefs of building from the bottom to the top. Recognizing our resilience as a people and the many characteristics and shared history that binds us as a people. It is this party that will contest the parliamentary elections on St. Martin in 2014. Once elected to office, again, will embark on a realistic approach to addressing the needs of our people. These include employment possibilities, decent living wages, affordable housing, safety and security, health care, education, sports and sports tourism, which a balanced approach in protecting our environment and a level playing field for local in this country economy. Most of you would already know where I have stood on those issues today. I feel even more convinced that ideals can become a reality. And this is because of the commitment of others, other gifted, capable and serious minded citizens who will be coming on board in various capacities, ensuring that a United St. Martin party becomes a vehicle for social justice and visible change. A true alternative to other alternatives which will have not which have not produced tangible results for more St. Martiners. Brothers and sisters, I ask you to join us, join this new party of caring men and women with, with proven track records and who want to serve and not be served. The United St. Martin Party recognize the disappointment and dis disinterest among so many of you. After all, many promises have not been lived up to and some situations have only worsened. And yet, I ask, why not be part of the solution? For it is said that whatever the mind can conceive and believe can be achieved. <laughs> With open constructive dialogue, respecting differences of opinion, we can will may move St. Martin into a position where we can all reap the benefits. Something for you, not just the unusual privilege. Having said that, people of St. Martin, I now, with your 
waiting this here this afternoon ask my team my board members to lower our slogan our flag our banner please lower it so the people can see stand with us progress with us prosper with us we are saying the United St. Martin Party is your party, the party for the future of your people. I now ask for the president to please come forward to say a few words on behalf of the party. To make a change. Let us hold our leaders accountable for the decisions they make in regards to party. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out here this evening. It don't stop here. We will be continuing our efforts and asking you to continue to support this team. Stay tuned, listen. We will be coming and visiting your homes and having lots of discussions on how best we move this country to the next level. So I want to thank each and every one of you here this evening for coming up and making sure showing your support and being part of this historical, historical movement. I thank you and God bless each and every one of you. Drive home safe, but there's a lot more to be given to you. So I ask for you to be patient. We're going to be giving up a number of more things because we believe we're in the spirit of giving and this is a time to give to you, the people of St. Martin. We have some good entertainment. I want to say, hip hip! Yeah. Hip hip! Yeah. Hip hip! Yeah. And away we go with us together. Thank you.